Hey everybody, it's Nick here again for Grayscale Gorilla. I am the gorilla, and today I wanted to do a really quick tutorial for you guys. Uh, right before the new year here, just wanted to post this up. I get this question all the time, and it's about um, saving a new default layout for uh, Cinema 4D. And what I mean by that is not the not not the layout of the uh, screen or the or the panels, but the actual um, options that that uh, are open when you make a new scene file. So let's just let's head in and let me show you what the heck I'm talking about um, here here's a few things that I change all the time see how this um, uh, ratio is kind of a more of a square you know standard def ratio well I almost always use a widescreen ratio so what I always end up doing is going into render settings going to output setting this to 16 by 9 and then uh, another thing I always do is when I render stuff out it's almost never at this little um, size, this 320 by 180, whatever. Uh, I want it bigger. So what I do is I lock the ratio and I make this something like 800 wide by 450. And this, uh, this usually isn't my final output, but for testing, it's kind of where I like to be. Um, uh, but the problem is, is every time I open up a new uh, file, uh, it, these these settings go back to their default, and instead, what I want to happen is I want these to open uh, when I whenever I make a new scene file. I want this to be the default. And the way that you do this, and and by the way, you can also change uh, quite a few things in here, and and this will all get saved. So the way that you do this, the way that you make this a default, is you go um, save as. So you go save as. And then you want to uh, go find your version of Cinema 4D. It's in the Maxon folder. Version 12 is what I'm running. And then you want to save a C4D file right in this folder called new.c4d. You hit save. And then uh, if I make a new, not a new content browser, um, uh, let's see here. Let's just cancel that. What am I doing here? Let's go up to new and just say new uh, folder or new file, and it'll pop up here. And we could just continue to do that. And now every time we open up a new scene, we can go into render settings, and you could see that H, uh, HD uh, 16 by 9 and 800 pixels wide is the default. And that's because of that file that we saved. Um, and uh, so, you know, that's it. That's a quick one today, a little quick tutorial on just how to handle that. You guys have seen this happen in a lot of tutorials, and a lot of you guys have been asking how the heck I did that. And that's it. You can make it whatever you want. If you work in a really specific ratio, or you have really specific settings, or or maybe you work on more poster size if your stuff's taller than it is wide, make that your default and, and save it. I will say one thing, though. This is separate from the layout of your uh, screen. So if you want your your layout different, that's actually a different setting. Uh, and in fact, I should do a tutorial on that as well. So uh, maybe uh, after the new year, we'll get that one up. But anyway, that's it. Real quick one. I'd like to uh, wish everybody a happy new year. I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you uh, real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.